Everyone, Monday update, Tony George. How about the national title game side play and two free prop bets after a shout-out to a fallen friend and a quick recap of the NFL yesterday, which was wild and wacky, kind of what's going on there right now to this morning on Monday, and then we'll get to this uh, title game here. I wanted to give a shout-out, a uh, tip of the hat, and uh, to uh, a, a colleague I've known for over 20 years, um, and many of you know him too as well, if you know anything about the sports betting community in Las Vegas, and even radio, uh, especially even national radio on Sports Grid Channel 204, Brian Blessing uh, passed away over the weekend out of nowhere. I got the news yesterday morning. Um, I've known Brian for over 20 years before I came to Docs. Uh, we did a podcast on another website together for a couple of years. Uh, great guy, um, advocate for our industry. Um, just the kindest dude you'll ever meet. Um, many, a, many a cocktail and just talking shop over the years when I used to come out here to Vegas before I lived here and uh, kind of went our separate ways when I came to Docs, but uh, always touch base, little DMs on Twitter and uh, texts and stuff like that. So nonetheless, I wanted to give a shout out because the sports betting community uh, here in Las Vegas lost one of their giants. And uh, so God bless him and his family and to all his fam friends that are affected. Sincere condolences and uh, he will be sorely missed in the sports betting world out here in Las Vegas. That being said, on a positive note, um, today over at the website, click free 60 bucks link in the description below. Thumbs up, subscribe, all those things. Um, We've got a four-unit best bets in college basketball. We had a great weekend in college basketball, including hitting a six-unit top play. Four-unit NBA best bet. Four-unit totals play in the national title game today. Over at Doc Sports. Uh, yesterday in the NFL, crazy. Crazy day. We knew it was coming. Um, Jacksonville, Colts. Hey, Frank Wright, don't be a Scott Frost of the NFL. Unhitch your wagon from Carson Wentz. He's garbage. Okay, I had no skin in it, but really? Wow, team that got beat 50-something or whatever it was the week before up into the Colts, all they had to do was win to get in. Oh, crazy day, great game in the Rams-Niners game. The game last night between the Chargers and the Raiders is a cla instant classic. Game of the decade, unbelievable football game. Steelers. Chargers, Raiders all have playoff implications and hopes on the line. It goes down to the last second. And that game proves to you right there. In the NFL, it's never over till it's over. It's not over in any game, especially the NFL, until that clock strikes zero. Because that's what it struck when the Raiders ended up winning that game. And you think that uh, NFL is fixed or rigged or whatever. Uh, you saw the effort those players on both sides of the ball gave in that game. There was nothing left in the tank, and it was a war of attrition, and it was a war. They went to war last night in that football game. That's what it's all about. There's no rig in the NF. There's two teams that both wanted it and did everything in their power to win it. What a football game. That being said, we also got ourselves a um, coaching carousel real quick. Denver, looking for a head coach. Chicago, Minnesota, looking for head coaches and GMs. Jacksonville, obviously looking for a head coach, although they ought to give that guy a million-dollar bonus for winning that game. And this morning, out of nowhere, Miami fired Brian Flores. What did he win, eight out of nine? Unbelievable. Must be some sort of political structure issue there with him and management because he's a great football coach and he may land one of these jobs we just talked about. I'd be shocked if he didn't. That being said, uh, the national title game tonight, you've got uh, yourselves, and let me, let me check the live line because this is ongoing as we speak. And we still have Georgia, minus three, total 52 and a half. I'm going to take Georgia Bulldogs. Tonight, this is a free play lean. This is a coin flip ball game. I like the total in this game a lot. It's what my premium play is at Docs. But 
You know, it's diff. George has been the best team in the country all year long. Now, I thought maybe early in the season, Ohio State may have had a little bit of an edge the way they were playing. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it's tough to beat the number one team in the country twice in a month. It's extremely, t- it's almost impossible to beat them. I mean, look what they did to Michigan. Bama struggled against Cincinnati. Bama has injury issues. Two on the offensive line. Mechie's out at wide receiver, which is one of their biggest playmakers. And Robinson is not going to be able to shove the ball down at Georgia's throat. They didn't have success uh, in the first game trying to run it. Just Bryce Young just went off on them. But I just think it's it's so difficult to win a game like this. And it's it's even more difficult at times to take and lay points against Nick Saban coach team with two ex-NFL head coaches on staff, one of them called plays. I mean, that's how deep Alabama runs. I mean, okay, this wide receiver's out, that right guard's out, this left tackle's out, these two defensive players are out. You know, they remind me of Nebraska back in the 90s. They just reload. Doesn't mean you got another guy stepping in that's a five-star that every other team in the country was after, and he's sitting on the bench for Bama. That's what Nebraska used to do back in the 90s. You know, that that made him a dynasty. And this is what Alabama's a dynasty. I mean, the guy's got seven national title rings as a head coach. I mean, come on. That's very, very hard to fade in a big game. And was he 4-0 against Kirby Smart? I mean, he owns him. You know, in the last game, they were an underdog, and they smoked him. But I just think it's too difficult to beat him. I just think Georgia's defense will make adjustments. Um, Bama will get theirs. I think Georgia will get theirs. Bear in mind they blew a 10-point lead in the SEC title game. I'm going to lean ever so slightly to Georgia. Prop bets. It's where the money's at. Got a great prop bet for you here. This is a full one or two unit play for me. I already bet it. You've heard of Dalvin Cook. Well, James Cook, you know, plays for Georgia. He's a stud. His over and under on receiving yards is 19 and a half. What? He had 112 yards catching the football against Michigan. He had 28 yards the first time around with four catches against Bama. Over and under. Minus 115. 19 half yards receiving? They put this guy out as a wide out. Yeah. Over. Big time. Also, Bryce Young. Quarterback. Alabama. Heisman Trophy winner. I'm going to make a stretch. Small wager. Over two and a half touchdowns plus 140. 70% of the games he was in this year, he had three or more touchdown passes. He's a Heisman Trophy. He shredded them last time. I'm not going to say he's going to shred them. Alabama's going to be throwing the ball in the red zone and not trying to run it. That's where the value comes in this wager. Over two and a half TD passes, Bryce Young, plus 140 on the plus number. A little bit of fun. Make it fun. Enjoy the national title game. 